Hi guys, welcome to Theodoro Kitchen Lab. Today we're gonna do a milfei with creme patisserie and raspberries. So let's get right into the recipe. In this pot, we have 900 ml of milk with 135 grams of sugar. So we keep this to boil. And in this bowl, we have 135 grams of sugar and we add 100 grams of corn flour, six egg yolks, and 100 grams of milk. So we mix it very well until it's combined, everything together, the corn flour, the sugar is dissolved, the egg yolks, everything. And we're waiting this mix to reach boil. So, we stir it very well and we bring it closer so we can work with it. So we're gonna need a ladle so we can transfer this mix into the bowl. Mix we need to mix very, very well. So this is combined very, very well and when we add the mix, the eggs are not gonna be scrubbed. So make sure that you stir it very well and the sides, take also the mix from the sides and put it in, like all of it, nicely. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna check the temperature of my milk, just to see where I am. If you don't have a, if you don't have a thermometer, it's fine. When you see that it start like steaming and uh, making something like a, like a cover on the top, we're gonna start slowly, slowly add the milk on the mix. You need to be very careful and very precise. Don't just dump the milk inside. Your eggs are gonna get cooked really, really quick. Give it a little bit of time and stir it until the next ladle. Yes, that's it, you see? It starts start getting thicker, but it's not getting cooked. So. We're taking the pot out of the fire and we continue with the mix. We are okay to transfer the bowl into the pot. And back to the fire. Medium to low temperature. And we stir very well until the mix starts thickening. Right now, we're gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Maybe a little bit more, I like it. So you need to have it in medium, medium high heat because if you, if you have it too low, it's gonna split, and if you have it too high, it's gonna be scrubbed. So you need to be medium to high, and still, still very well. Yeah, you see, now it starts getting thick. Now is the issue, like now we need to be really, really careful. So, we're taking out of the fire. The pot is still hot on the bottom, right? So when you see that this mix is start getting thick and you continue cooking it, 100% in that temperature that you have it, you're gonna boil it. So at the moment that you see that it's ready to boil, take it out of the fire and you see it's getting thick and even in the same pot because the bottom is still hot. So be careful. We're just gonna taste a little bit to see where we are. Ho, oh. damn, yes and we add the butter and we stir it very well. So in that case now, you're gonna see your beautiful cream that's gonna start being shiny. This from the butter is gonna take a nice like shiny, like, I don't know, a texture, like so good guys. I'm sure if you do that home, definitely you're gonna take some pride. Like it's not an easy thing to do like home, right? And uh, if you never did it before, uh, definitely you're gonna take a lot of pride. 
we're gonna spread our cream over here so it's gonna cool down faster so and with the rubber spatula just like make it even like this nicely right We cover with saran wrap, but not from side to side, just the cream, because if we keep it, if we keep it uncovered, it's gonna dry out and it's gonna make something like film. And if we cover from side to side, the steam is just gonna ruin all our cream. So the only thing that we want is to touch the top of the cream and make sure that it's not gonna make any film or getting dry. I think it's gonna need around two to three hours to cool down and uh, your creme patisserie is ready. We're gonna start with our pastry. Um, just in case that you don't have like a, something to make the sandwich or whatever, I use just a cup. So nicely cut your dough with the cup. I already preheat my, my oven, uh, 400. Uh, the time approximately it's gonna need, I think, around 20 minutes for this uh, process. I'm not gonna put anything else. Some other people put butter or egg wash or whatever, whatever. I'm not gonna do anything. And uh, I'm just gonna keep some of this dough and I cook it here in the middle. So I'm gonna use it as a crumbs on the top at the end. Something very important. Make some holes in the dough so it's not gonna rise too much because we don't want it to rise too much and we're going in the oven let's see for garnish we're gonna use fresh raspberries and uh, I have over here uh, ready-made like marmalade which uh, at the end I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to make it more thin and I'm gonna garnish on top it's gonna be great we just took uh, the puff pastry out of the oven we kept it a little bit to cool down like approximately like 10-15 minutes so we can work with it and it's not gonna be too hot and uh, melt down our cream so let's start plating so i'm just gonna put a little bit in the middle so it's gonna hold the rest here nice i'm gonna fill up my piping bag yeah i always make a mess So we put as much as we need to work. Take out the air, press it a little bit, nice. So So we just add the raspberries uh, around the dessert. We put the cream in the middle and all the rest around it nice and tight yep and uh, again the same thing and round two We have ready the, the raspberry sauce. I personally love it, it's one of my favorite desserts. If I wanna impress someone or like it's light, it's, it's a great dessert. So that's my version of uh, milfei with raspberries and raspberry sauce. This is it guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, see you in the next Kitchen Lab. Thank you very much. <laughs>